today we will take a closer look at pas de bras, which is the name for the arm movement in ballet. But the art of pas de bras is not only about the arms, it concerns the whole upper body. There is a close connection between the abs, the chest, the shoulders, the whole back and the movement of the arms. For good pas de bras it is crucial that the spine is long and the upper body pulled up. The abs are engaged, the ribs have space, the chest is forward, the shoulders are in place and the movement of the arms starts from the back and from the shoulder blades. All of this done correctly will create a nice ballerina look. Let's start with the positioning of the shoulders and the upper back. Bring your shoulders up, then pull them out to the sides and down. Your latissimus muscles are pulling your shoulder blades down to create a flat back with a V shape. At the same time you drop your tailbone and bring your chin parallel to the floor. You don't want to crunch your shoulder blades or let your shoulders hang to the front and round your back. You want to expand and bring your shoulders to the sides and diagonally down. If we watch from the side we want to lift the chest diagonally forward, pull the ribcage up, engage and lengthen the abs and the neck is free and relaxed and the chin parallel to the floor. In first position the fingertips are at the height of the belly button and the arms have a rounded shape. The shoulders are in place, the chest is lifted. If we transition into second position we start from the fingertips and bring the arms to the sides. To continue to braba we drop first the elbows and let the hands follow. Then we bring the hands up into first position and repeat the movement. Fingertips open to the front, arms go to the side, then elbows drop, hands follow and lift again. In second position it is important that the shoulders are the highest point, then come the elbows and then the hands. Let's take a closer look at the hands. Generally the thumb and the middle finger are closer together. The fingers want to be long, relaxed and slightly apart. To achieve that shake out your hands and you can do a little massage by grabbing each finger separately and lengthen it. That also feels really nice. What you want to avoid is too much tension. You really want beautiful, relaxed hands. And it's really beautiful if the hand movements are soft and you start to move from your fingertips. For a short combination to practice, we start in bra bar, then we bring our arms to first position, open to second position, then we lift our arms to third position and open to bring them down again to second position. Then we close into first position with the right arm, then we switch to the left arm, then we open again into second and bring the arms down to bra bar. There are a few things to watch out for. When we open our arms to second position, we start the movement from the fingertips. 
Then when we lift the arms to third position, we start the movement from the elbows and the hands softly follow. In third position, the arms are slightly front so that you can see your fingertips. And when we open again to second position, we first articulate the fingertips open. As we bring the right arm in, the fingers are the last thing to move. And when we open again, the fingers are the first thing to move. So that there is a really soft quality. Now let's do some exercises to improve the port de bras. Grab two dumbbells and bring your arms in first position. From there open to second. Bring them up to third position. And down to first and bra ba. Then open to second. And up to third position. Feel the muscle engagement in your back. Bring them down to bra bar. To second, to third, first, and bra bar. Then lift through first to third, and then open to second and down. Lift up from first to third, and through second and down. Again, lift up and lower them down. Very good. Next, come to lie on your back and lift your left arm. Your shoulder is on the floor. Now turn your arm in as much as you can. And then rotate it into the other direction as much as you can. And again inward, go to your end range of motion and outward. One more time in and one more time out. Drop your left arm and repeat with the right arm. Turn your arm inward. Go to your end range of motion and then rotate the other way around. And one more time in. Bend your elbow and out. Bring your elbow to your chest. And one more time. Turn the arm in. Feel the whole movement in your shoulder and in your back and then turn out. And drop your arm down. Lift again your left arm. And reach with your hand to the ceiling. Turn your arm in. And now start to draw a figure 8 with your hand on the ceiling. Imagine you're drawing a figure 8 on the ceiling. And switch direction. Then draw a figure 8 with your elbow. First in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Next you want to start the movement from your shoulder. Again draw a figure 8 from your shoulder and reverse the direction. And then try to draw a figure eight with your shoulder blade. This is quite tricky. The movement might be very small, but try your best and reverse the direction. Then turn your arm in the opposite way, reach up to the ceiling and draw a figure 8 with your hand. 
and reverse the direction. Then draw a figure eight with your elbow and reverse the direction. Then draw a figure eight with your shoulder and reverse. Now draw a figure eight with your shoulder blade and the other direction. Very good. Now lift both arms and feel the difference. Bring them to first position and then open to second. Then bring your arms down and let's even out the sides and lift the right arm and turn it in. Reach up to the ceiling and design a figure eight on the ceiling and reverse the direction. Then start the movement from your elbow and switch direction. Start the movement from your shoulder and the other way around. And start the movement from your shoulder blade. And the other way around. Now turn your arm the other way. Reach up and draw a figure eight with your hands. Then switch direction. Draw the figure eight with your elbow and switch direction. Then draw the figure eight from your shoulder and switch direction. And draw the figure eight from your shoulder blade. and switch direction. Now bring your arms back to first position and open to second and now they should feel even again. Let's take a closer look at port de bras in third position and combine this with an exercise. First the alignment the shoulders want to be down and the arm is long, so you don't want to have your shoulders up and the elbows very bent, but the elbows are long and the shoulders down. And from the side you see that you, your elbows are a little bit back so that they don't cover your face while the hands are a little bit more in front. Now take a TheraBand, grab it a little bit more than shoulder width apart and bring your hands above your head. Now you just want to pull your shoulder blades down. So pull your shoulder blades down, release and pull them down again. Repeat this 10 or 20 times. Always shoulder blades down and release. Down and release down and release. Now take away the TheraBand and repeat the same exercise without the band. The shoulder blades pull down, the ch chest bone goes up, shoulder blades down, chest bone up and release. Shoulder blades down, chest bone up and release and continue a few times more. This teaches you to keep the shoulders down and the chest bone diagonally forward. Now come again to lie on your back with your arms in second position and make sure you can slide. 
Now you want to turn your arms to the back and arch your back while you're doing so. So the movement starts from the rotation in your shoulders. So the shoulders and the arms are rotating to the back and like this you're arching your back. Come back to the starting position with the arms in second position and now rotate your shoulders and your arms to the front. Lift your head and crunch up, then rotate all the way to the back and arch your back. Rotate forward, crunch up and rotate to the back and arch your back. Feel how the movement starts in your shoulders and from your back and the arms and the head follow. Very good. Now interlace your fingers behind your head and rotate your arms, your hands forward so that you lift your head and crunch up, then rotate your hands in the opposite direction so that you're arching your back. It's like a cat-cow movement which is initiated by the hands. They are curling in to crunch up and then they are rotating in the other direction so that you're arching your back. Keep flowing between these two moves, between crunching and arching. Let's repeat our short combination to see if all these exercises made any difference. Bring your arms to first position, open from your fingertips, keep your shoulders in place, lift from your elbows, start the movement from the back, the hands follow, bring your arms to third position, elbows back, hands to the front. Then open your fingertips and float back into second position. Then bring your right arm in, hand is the last thing to come. Open from your fingertips while you bring your left arm in. Open again and bring your arms down to rubber position. <laughs>